What is good, everybody? Today we're back with a brand new 2 in 1 WWE Elite figure review on the Elite Series 113 Trick Williams and Dragon Lee figures. Now, both of these guys are first time in the lines. Very excited for these figures. I feel like we waited forever, and I apologize for the long wait on the review. Hopefully, you guys still care, but I think that Trick Williams is a guy I've been waiting on in figure form for a long time, and I think this Dragon Lee could be a really well executed figure, and I'm excited for it. We're finally going to complete Elite 113. It took long enough, damn it, but we're here. If you guys want to grab these figures, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles, man, but use code MDTOYS over there. I'd greatly appreciate it, but today we have Trick Williams. Dragon Lee should be fun here, man. Trick Williams, man. They put him in the white and gold gear, which I personally is my favorite gear. Now, do I think this figure is perfect? We're going to get into it. We're going to just, you know, diagnose it, see what it's about, see how good everything is here, but I'm excited about the Trick Williams, man. Got a nice shot of Trick on the side. Got a nice shot of him there. Got the sunglasses, rest of the figures in the wave, and then, of course, we do have Dragon Lee, which I think is a really underrated figure. They both have the white gear. They're both looking fire. Got the jacket in there. Got him on the side, and then we do have Dragon Lee here on the back with everything going on again rest of the figures of the wave man but what we're gonna do is crack these guys out of the packaging find out if they're worth a damn see how they compare with the rest of our collections and see if these guys are in, gonna end up being some of the better figures of the year are they some of the better figures in elite 113 we're going to find out here today as we dive into it man with that being said let's shut the hell up crack them out of the packaging and find out what trick williams and dragon lee are all about so here we have Dragon Lee and Trick Williams out of the packaging, and I am enjoying these figures, man. I think we have a couple of underrated pieces right here, man. We're going to, of course, dive into all the details, of course, man. But again, if you want to grab these, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles. Now, are these figures perfect? I don't know, man. We're going to dive into it. We're going to let you decide for yourselves down in the comment section as you progress through the video. You can let me know what you think of these, but I know a lot of people have been waiting on these for a very long time, so I can't wait to get into it with you, man. But let's start off with Trick Williams accessories and Trick Williams, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Dragon Lee's accessories and Dragon Lee. All right, man, for Trick Williams, we do get a championship and some other things. And we do have the North American NXT Championship or the NXT North American title. One of my favorite championships in WWE. I just always love this design. Ever since it was revealed, I just think it's very unique. You know what you're looking at. It stands out by itself. The wide strap, the brown color. I think it's a dope championship, and it's great. I'm very glad to have another one of these in the collection because you don't really get them that often, man. So having another one here is very nice. And then the only real other accessory you get are these pink shades. But they're actually damn good. These are some good shades right here, and they fit the figure quite good, you know, like you put it on here, and I, I didn't include the necklace, but the necklace looks good here, doesn't it? I think it looks pretty good. I think that's not, I didn't include it in the necklace or in the accessories, but these sunglasses are pretty fire. Look at them. They make him look like he's going to dunk on your family. I like that a lot. This is, a, this is a very nice pair of shades. I like these a lot. Look at him, man. Who's effing with Trick Williams? Outside of that, we do have Mike holding hands right here, and I told you, man, they include these with everybody now. You get the Ricochet Kawhi Leonard handshaking entrance style hands, the newly sculpted ones that started with Elite 105 Gargano. I mean, my God, man. They include these with legitimately everybody now. Everybody gets these hands. So getting into Trick Williams at the start of the head sculpt, I like the head sculpt. I really wish that he didn't have a smiling head sculpt. I'd rather him be pissed off or serious or just kind of relaxed there, but I'll take it. I think it does have likeness to him, and I think it looks pretty good. You know, the beard and everything. I like the, the ponytail and everything underneath here. Wish that it had a fade or something instead of just the straight all the same length, but maybe that's something we could do later. But I do like the head sculpt and everything. I think it looks good. A lot of people concerned about his neck. I don't think the neck is that long. I think in certain angles it looks a bit weird, but I don't know. My biggest issue with this figure is going to be the torso. I don't like this torso for him. I think that they could have used something else. Now, I know he is a broad individual. He's a big guy. All those different things. I, I'm fine with the arm size. I'm fine with the shoulders. I just think that this, I don't know. I don't like this torso for him. I think that they could have used something else or maybe even sculpted something new. Maybe, hell, even the maybe even the Austin Theory Elite 110 torso or something would have been cooler to include right here, maybe. I think that torso would work really well for him, which would be really awesome to see. So maybe maybe they could do something like that, but I do like the gear. Got the Trick Willie on the front there, and then you do have the Trick Williams logos on the side in the gold and white. You got the Trick logo there. Very, very sweet gear. I'm glad they went with this gear. Very sweet indeed. And actually, something that's crazy and something that I don't think people are thinking about is these legs are molded in white. Do you know what that means, Brad? Do you know what that means? Are you seeing the vision now, Brad? If you acetone all of this off, these legs would be completely white. And that's all I'm going to say on that. You could... I don't know, man. You could speculate all you want, but he has white wrist tape, white knee pads, white tape painted underneath, and then we do have the TW logos there with the gold and white, which look very clean, by the way. Remind me of a certain Superstars kick pads from a other particular attire, but this is very clean. I am digging the hell out of this figure. So here with Trick Williams, man, I mean, the articulation, you get a good back bend, but not a really good ab crunch there. Shoulder is a little loose. I think it's just because of how massive the torso is. It creates a little gap for the shoulder. It's not super loose, but it is noticeable 
that it's maybe a hair loose there, but it doesn't feel just egregious. You do get a good kick forward here. You get a good bend out, so it doesn't have that terrible pine cone like flex back and forth syndrome. He is pinless, so his knees are a little stiff, but it's not as bad as I've seen. I've seen way worse, and it feels pretty buttery smooth for the most part. I'd say maybe hit it with a hair dryer, but I'm not finding just horrendous difference there. You do get a kick pad rotation. You do get the good ankle rocker because this is the new feet, so you are going to get that full 360. It does do go down and up and everything like that, but this figure does feel very quality, and it certainly feels a lot better than some of the other figures we've been seeing from Mattel lately. I actually like the Trick Williams a lot, but as far as comparisons are concerned, we do have him up next to Carmelo Hayes here, and I do believe that Trick is 6'4". These look to go in tandem pretty good together. I know Carmelo's figure wasn't the most, you know, the best executed here, but I do like these figures, and I'm glad that you can kind of pair them together or do something there, and I like it. You know, I, I don't despise it. The Carmelo was kind of underwhelming, but you do have those up next to each other, but one thing I do want to check out are some other torso options. So these are some other torso options that I think they could have gotten away with. I don't think that any of these would have been as bad as this one. Like, all these are good contenders. I just think that this torso is a little wide for, for some reason, and I don't think it's, again, just the worst thing I've ever seen because he is a jacked individual. I just don't think I like this torso, period. So I think that that is where I would like to see it change. I think I'd like to see a different torso for Trick Williams, but maybe I'm in the minority. Maybe other people really like this torso for him. I'm just not one of them. I think that they could do something else. Not that, it, again, that it's just the worst thing I've ever seen, but just uh, comparing to other people, I think I would like them to go in a different direction. I'd at least like to see what it looks like before I completely canceled it out. But I guess, is it a better option than the Bobby Lashley torso? Probably so, because I'm, I'm actually shocked they didn't use that one. All right, so getting into Dragon Lee's accessories. Let's start things off with this giant rubber piece of trash. Now, nah, I mean, it's got good sculpts and stuff, man, but nobody want to see this, man. I, I just, I do not like that it's rubber, man. I mean, it'd be a fine accessories. Hack the sleeves and shoulder pads off. Turn it into an entrance duster. It'd be fine. But when you get this right here and you can't pose it, I'd rather throw it the hell out in the yard. Don't include it if it's rubber, man. I just don't want it. I, I don't know anybody that does want this. Do you care about the accessories when they're like this? Please let me know down below. I'd rather them not be included at all. Don't even look at them. Just get rid of them. I'd rather have a cloth t-shirt from WWE Shop of Dragon Lee's t-shirt. I don't care. I don't want to see this entrance jacket. If it can't be ultimate form where you have articulated arms or a good cloth goods, I don't want it. Now they also included a white elbow pad, which I guess technically is an accessory, but not really. So I just wanted to show that off. You know, it's the same one you get with punk and stuff. And then for interchangeable hands, you do get mic holding hands with white finger tape. And then you already know, man, Ricochet Kawhi Leonard handshaking entrance style hands every single single time, man. It never fails. They include these with every single character. It's unbelievable. All right, man, so for Dragon Lee, I really like this head sculpt. I think the mask and attire is pretty sweet here. You have the blue, the red, the white. I am disappointed in the gear, though, because I think there's supposed to be some sort of pattern in there, but we'll get into that. But the mask does look really, really good. Good head sculpt, I think. Everything here is newly sculpted. I really like the, you know, the, like, sort of tassel coming off the back here. And I think this looks really good. I like the usage of the Sin Cara style torso. We've seen this torso for a while. They finally used it on AJ Styles, which was a blessing. But he's got the jacked arms in there. These are the Johnny Gargano style arms instead of the typical, you know, Seth Rollins, Finn Balor style, which I think they should use for Seth Rollins and Finn Balor, but they don't for some reason. I don't know why they don't do that. I think these look better. But also, you see the gear is just plain white, plain wrist tape, plain white hand tape. And again, there's supposed to be some details in the gear, I think, but they didn't do anything. There's no, you know, off-white or anything on there. I could be wrong there, but I, I want to say there was. But he does have nice legs here with the pins in them, so they are posable. Then you have the white knee pads and these newly sculpted boots, which are phenomenal, man. Look at that. You got the feathers coming down. You can put these on other characters. These are pretty damn nice, man. And honestly, you know what bothers the hell out of me? Why didn't they use these boots? Oh, wait, never mind. That. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay, okay. This is a good point here. They need to use these feet on Cody Rhodes, man. The feet they use on the... Because these are newly sculpted boots, which means that they could put this foot mold, this foot, not the boot, the foot. They could put this onto the new Cody Rhodes so he wouldn't have damn clown feet. They need to do that, man. They need to do that. They, they absolutely need to do that because this looks like the old Cody Rhodes foot mold. They need to go back to that. I think this works better than the clown shoes that they give him nowadays, but this looks really good. Good sculpt work on there. Now, as far as articulation, he's pretty damn buttery smooth, man. I mean, he's going to be able to do all the things you need And as far as the lucha. I think that he he feels good in hand. He's very articulated, double-jointed knee. Kick forward is phenomenal. Kick out is phenomenal. Thigh swivel, double-jointed knee because he is not pinless. He feels really good. You get a nice boot swivel, and then you do get the really good ankle 
pivot because it is the new boots and you get a good flex there. I think these, this is a phenomenal figure, man. I mean, he, you know, he's not the most detailed ever, but damn. Start posing this guy around, he's absolutely crushing it. Like, look at him, man. Look at, he looks like a damn unit. So for your Dragon League figure comparisons, we just have a bunch of figures here to kind of compare his height and how he fits in with some different figures. You have Ricochet, Pete Dunn, Rey Mysterio, and Dominic Mysterio. And Pete Dunn has the Seth Rollins and Finn Balor biceps. Look what I'm talking about, man. Look at the more cut up and they have the vein in there. And I don't know, I guess these are fatter, kind of give you a bigger bicep pump. But I don't know. They're not as cut as I'd like, I don't think. I don't know. You can let me know. I don't know. I think they may look better. I'm not sure. But I like all these figures, man. Some more recent elites that we have here, just in comparison, so you can kind of get an idea of how he scales. I think that it looks good. This this Dragon Lee is very underrated. Going to be one of the most underrated figures of the year by far. It is a very good execution. Just throw that damn rubber jacket the hell out. But I think that about wraps up this 2-in-1 WWE Elite figure review of WWE Elite Series 113, Trick Williams and Dragon Lee. Man, at the end of the day, let's start off with Trick Williams. I really like the head sculpt. You know, I prefer him not to be smiling. I prefer a more serious or stoic face, but I do like this head sculpt. It has a little bit of a giraffe neck. I don't think it's egregious by any stretch, but I still, I can kind of see where people are going there. Really like the sunglasses. Really like the necklace accessory as well. The Farouk torso, this gigantic sting torso that they like to use here. I don't really like it for a lot of people, man. I'll be honest. I don't think it works for a lot of people, and I don't like when they flip-flop. You know, it was on Batista, then it wasn't on Batista, or it wasn't on Batista, then it was. And then you have have Farouk. They've used it for Farouk most of the time, besides his Elite 38 figure. But I don't know. I think they could have used either the Apollo Crews torso, maybe even the Macho Man torso, I think would also work pretty good. This torso isn't the worst I've ever seen for a character. I just am not a big fan of this torso in general, so it kind of throws me off. Because I think he's uh, he's not, at, like, he's jacked. He's a, he's a great athlete. He looks phenomenal, right? But I don't know if I would use this torso for him. But outside of that, I really do dig the figure. Great accessories. Even though it doesn't come with this shirt, I did put this shirt on here. But it looks fire, doesn't it? I mean, it looks like, it looks like a million bucks. Which would be a fire gimmick, by the way. But I think the white and gold looks very sweet. You could even put these white kick pads on my own figure. The TW for my name there. So I may adventure with that. I don't know. No, seriously, I might adventure. I might explore that. But this Trick Williams figure is pretty damn good. I enjoy it. I think it's great. I love Trick Williams. If you're a Trick Williams fan, man, you gotta grab this one. And then on the Dragon Lee side of things... I really like the figure as well. The only con I have about the figure is the rubber jacket. Really wish they could have included some sort of cloth goods in s instead of some rubber jacket, but I understand it. I understand what they were going for. I just can't stand the rubber jackets. I cannot stand them. I don't have any usage for them. I don't like them in any stretch when it has the arms down the, the you know, when it prevents the arm articulation, man, you can get it the hell out, but everything else about the figure is phenomenal. Love the new boots, sculpt. I like that he's very poseable. The white gear, you guys know I love white gear, so this is a two-in-one smacker. I love the mask. I like the skull. Great formula, great articulation, just a really good figure overall. And I think both of them are very good figures, man. They're phenomenal. I think I think both of them are worth the pickup. If you want to grab these over at Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, man. I think you guys are going to enjoy these. I think that they are over the top. I think they're, they're going to be hard to compete with in the top elites of the year. I think they are both that good. I think you will enjoy both of them. Both of them feel good in hand. I didn't feel like I was having to freaking pull teeth to move them, so that always makes me happy, man. But I like both of these figures, and I put my stamp of approval on them. But nonetheless, man, I'm getting the hell out. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know your thoughts on these down in the comment section below. Also, huge shout out to our Patreon members, man. You guys are unbelievable. Thank you so much for your support. As always, you guys are so incredible, and I appreciate each and every one of you guys. But that is going to wrap the video, man. Hope you guys did enjoy. We've wrapped up Elite 113 here. Be sure to check out all the Elite 13, 113 and 114 reviews on the channel. And I'm getting out, man. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later.